Capricorn. What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn between the 1st and 15th of October? Hmm. Hmm. We grounded, huh? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. This depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? These cards do say currently I'm a cuss a little bit, all right? But it's okay. We family, all right? Um, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We a little dysfunctional, okay? But we love. Positive vibes only. Positive shit only, okay? We don't fuss. We don't fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel because Mocha don't play that shit. But we do share we grow we evolve we love one another and we push through it's about growth and evolution baby positive shit only this is a general it's not a personal if you need a personal reading that information can be found boop, in the description below okay this will be again for the sun moon rise and venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of capricorn between the first and 15th of october and let's get it right so spirit message first and foremost capricorn during this time you guys may be receiving some some of you are first off the energy of abundance is truly upon y'all okay first off i kept hearing bling, 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 one of y'all some of you all may be having a major massive financial either windfall or someone to invest in you that's going to really really push you to a place of grounding and stability i feel like a lot of y'all been busting y'all ass to create this stability and this grounding with the intention of balancing things out once you get into a place of comfort, okay? But I feel like we're doing so. A few people were feeling left out, Capricorn. So during this time, you guys will be definitely able to heal situations, okay? Some of you all need to heal a situation with your father or the father of your children, okay? This could also be a grandfather or if your father has passed. Somebody also, if your father recently passed, maybe in the last... Oh, shit. I hate when this happens, but I got to go. If your father recently passed in the last 10 years, 10 months, 11 months, um, I'm seeing a light-skinned older male. He has fine hair. He looks like he could be mixed with some sort of like... <sighs> it could be Spanish descent. It could also be Caucasian. But it, it's like a mixture of something. He looks like he could also be like some type of like Brazilian or this is foreign. Okay. But fine skin. I feel like you didn't really get to heal with your father. And during this time, you've actually someone, one of you all have gained the spiritual ability um, to communicate or some type of mediumship. However, because you're so emotionally attached to that person, you can feel their vibration. You can feel the energy, but they, they're not quite making it through. They want you to know to push through. All is forgiven and they love you. I don't feel like somebody got closure, but here it goes, okay? Um, you guys during this time are going to be in a very grounded place. Some of you are with this with this offer, okay? With this help from the universe, okay? With this help, I do feel a lot of you guys are walking into a place of abundance, which is going to take you, baby, rise you up out of the ashes, baby. You're going to rise out the ashes like the phoenix because some of you are, you felt as if you needed this stability to be able to heal family situations and make things right and it's coming forth if you are the father figure okay especially if this is the mother of your child or possibly your mother okay um there's definitely some healing that's going to be taking place between the first and 15th of october i do see you guys may receive a message from a fire sign okay this could be a message of of clarity some some of you all may be also receiving an apology during this time this could be from a Taurus as well. I feel like there in the past there was some form of deception. Some of y'all are really trying to manifest the Pisces back. Especially if you have a family with this person. You may have walked away from that person in the past. That person may have walked away from you, but they had to transform. Some of you all are definitely dealing with Pisces and Scorpio. And I feel like there is a level of releasing during this time and moving away from past issues in order to bring a form of newness okay and you guys are going to have victory with that some of y'all are actually some of y'all are in marriages okay some of y'all are married to the sign of libra some of y'all are married to the sign of taurus some of y'all have a uh gemini that you're dealing with and i feel like either you or this person is juggling and i feel like once this financial blessing comes about in someone's life they're gonna move away intuitively someone it has really been trusting their intuition if you've been feeling like you're dealing with a fire sign, 
a water sign or an air sign that's getting ready to move away from you, Capricorn, possibly after um, either they receive some sort of financial blessing or you receive some financial blessing, your intuition could be right, okay? Well, I'm seeing your intuition is on the money. You already know somebody's going to move on. However, you kind of keep certain things close to your chest. I feel like if you get this financial blessing, some of y'all got takers in y'all life. Y'all finna really discover who the takers are in your life. And I feel like it's going to allow you to make a decision to move past those turbulent waters and truly be happy, okay? Some of y'all are definitely dealing with the sign of Leo. This person could be a mystic. This person could be an intuitive. I feel like this person is kind of questioning if you are going to actually bring them this stable beginning or if you're going to move away, but they feel that you're going to move away. And I feel like it has to do with no communication. Capricorn, what I noticed off the rip, to be honest, it's not many swords up in here. So this lets me know that you're not doing much talking. You're doing a lot of acting. But for some of you, you're keeping it close to your chest. Some of y'all will find out that someone is hiding finances from you and have been. But it's, you're not going to find out until they leave. And you're going to feel played. But just know spirit got you, boo. Just know spirit got you, boo. Man's rejection is God's protection. Some of you all are walking away from a Leo to, in order to transform during this time. A lot of you all are wanting to be committed or moving towards commitment and having to move away from all your options during this time to have some form of commitment with an Aquarius. Some of y'all are coming in and out of a fire signs life. Uh, this could be an Aries. I also see this could be a Cancer or a Libra. I feel like you want to make this person an offer, but this person will possibly hold on to what happened in the past. You are this person's energy. I feel like if there's any offer going to be offered to a fire sign, or possibly a Libra, or if this person is another earth sign like you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like somebody walked away from somebody, but if they come back, they'll possibly give some false-ass dreams, okay? Just to hit it and quit it. And I feel like it's going to bring a change, or someone is kind of indecisive about changing their world up because they don't know if someone else that's trying to come in is serious or not. Capricorn Spirit says, trust your intuition. Some of y'all... Some of y'all are, some of y'all are wanting to offer your cup of love to a Leo, okay? And some of y'all want to leave a Leo. <laughs> some of y'all need to really trust your intuition and move past whatever it is that has been really burdening you and allow God to do God's job because I strongly feel like y'all have an indecisive air sign in y'all life and, and, and it's killing you. It's literally killing you, sucking the life out of you trying to Hold on to something or someone, this vibration that really needs to be cut off. Because for some of you, you already know that there's deceit. You already know that there's juggling. You know that you need to walk away. And you've been knowing it possibly for the last four years, four months. You know this already. I mean, you already know in Capricorn. But at the same time, you're not choosing to evolve for some of you all. During this time, a lot of you all are taking that, just tag me in again, spirit. I'm ready. I'm ready to walk away from this shit. And when you do. Just know that a form of newness is going to be coming on to you, okay? I do see some of y'all were definitely possibly getting cut off by air sign or cutting the air sign off. You're moving away from this person to go follow your dreams, okay? But some of you all, some of you all are dealing with a Virgo. And I feel like it's just a lot of so much arrogance and pride that I feel from this Virgo energy. I feel like this person has been defensive towards you lately because they feel like you're hiding something from them, Capricorn. And some of y'all are hiding something from them, but you don't you don't mean it in an ill intent. It's just that you don't want to talk about it before it's actually manifested here, you know, in the physical. But I feel that you need to communicate with this person to get them out of that form of get them out of that indecisive ass energy because it's not healthy for them or you. Especially when you gotta deal with the yip yap and the flack after the shit. Just give a person some clarity. Some of y'all have an air sign. They stalking you. They watching every damn thing you do because they want to get out of jail free card. Like, I feel like some of y'all have been dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius. Strong Gemini. Strong, well, I'm going to be honest with you. All of them in here, to be honest. They go Libra. They go Gemini. And here go Aquarius. So all the air signs is up in here. Okay? I feel like if you're dealing with Aquarius, there is there is something that you don't know about this person. I feel like, though, instead of stalking and trying to check the checker that way, Spirit is saying, just ask. 
Some of y'all are thinking way more into a situation than you need to be because you have everything that you need. For, all, for those of you who are looking to start a new job, I do see it coming. Possibly around the second week of October. For some of you, the first week of October, you could be starting a job. But this was after walking away from something that you knew damn well did not serve you. I also see with this magician, some of y'all could actually be wanting to offer a form of newness or offer some type of financial blessing or financial help to an Aryan person, to Aries. Some of you all are just wanting to start completely over. I've gained <clears throat> the knowledge that I need. Okay? I have what I need. Now I'm financially stable. I know how to love. I know how to communicate effectively. And I'm going to chase my passions. And you see this eight right here? I never really noticed it, but it's infinite. This was infinite. It's your destiny to win, Capricorn. Don't let nobody fuck with your destiny. Okay? Especially somebody who want to stalk and don't talk. Get that monkey off your back, baby. A lot of y'all got a monkey on your back that comes in the form of a fire sign. Near these Leo Sagittarius. You're wanting to ground yourself. You're trying to stay grounded and focus on finances. However, you're really needing to acknowledge the bullshit. It's acknowledgement time. It's time to put the, put all that other shit aside and focus on what really matters. What makes you happy? What you want? What you deserve? What fulfills you? Who ain't doing right? Why they around? It's judgment time, baby. It's judgment time so that you can take that leap of faith, baby. Turn your back on that shit and jump off that cliff. You see these infinite signals? Both of them got this infinite sign in these circles. The reason why you're feeling grounded, baby, it's time for you to jump off that cliff. It's time for you to jump off that cliff. For some of y'all, you want to jump in the arms of Aries person. Okay? What's stopping you? Because I don't, don't tell. Some of y'all want to move away from the sign of Aries. Some of y'all don't know what the hell you want to do. If I want to stay, if I want to go. Because you cocky as fuck. But I can see me building and growing with you, though. You are so stable as fuck. But Capricorn, what really makes you happy? Make somebody put some respect on it. And tell people, I'm intuitive. I know what you're doing. Stop fucking playing with me. Speak your peace. Mean what you say and say what you mean. And move forward and show a motherfucker. This, oh, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. This is what I mean. Put some respect on my name. I am. Okay? Respect the God in you. I am. I am abundant. I am beautiful. I am popping. I'm intelligent. I'm strategic. I'm centered. I'm faithful. I'm loving. I'm kind. I'm loyal. I'm a rider. And you're going to appreciate me or you're going to get love. Period. Capricorn, that's what I have for y'all. Between the 1st and the 15th of October, if you need that personal, hit me up. I will be more than honored to do your personal. All these readers on YouTube, you choose me. I'm thankful for that. I love y'all very, very, very much. Much love, much light. Many blessings. Sending you nothing but abundance. Receive it, baby. Because I send it to you a hundred times. Namaste. Bye, y'all.